Okay, um, in this video I'm going to talk to you about scaling and what we mean by that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at a very basic example to show you kind of what's going on. What we have here is a number line and I've got some data, uh, so I've got one one, two twos, three threes, two fours and one five. So this is what it's representing here. And you can work out the mean and the standard deviation, 3 and 1.15 to 3 significant figures. Okay? Now let's say um, I add 7 to each of these original bits of data. I add 7 to each. Okay? Let's have a look at what happens. So 5 will become 12, the 2 4s will become 11s, and I'll have 3 10s. I'll have two nines and one eight. Okay? So just by looking at it, you can see that the mean, as it's been transferred, will also have increased by seven. Okay? So the new mean here would be ten. Now, how about the standard deviation? Now the standard deviation tells you how spread out the data is. But you can see that if I've just added a number to my original set, uh, my original data, in no way have they become more spread out or less spread out. So actually what's happened is that the standard deviation hasn't changed. And so the standard deviation will be unaffected by just adding or subtracting a certain number from the original data. Okay, let's have a look at this one. So I've got the same 1 to 12, but I've got a slightly different set of data. I've got 1, 1, 3, 3s, and 1, 5. The mean is still 3, but the standard deviation for this one is 1.26 to 3 significant figures. Let's say for this one, I'm going to multiply each of the elements by 2. And let's see what happens. So... My 1, 1 will be multiplied by 2 on the pill there. I've got 3, 3s, then it multiplied by, th by 2, so then I'll now have 3, 6s. And the 5 will get multiplied by 2, so that would be, I'd have 1, 10. So now look at these blue crosses. Okay. What has happened to the mean? Well, the mean was at 3, but can be quite clearly seen that it's that's also doubled now. So the mean would be 6. So the mean is affected both by um, adding or subtracting a number or by multiplying or dividing. The standard deviation, unlike the first example, has changed this time. It has become more spread out. Previously it was between 1 and 5, but it's now between 2 and 10. So it has spread out. And the standard deviation, if you calculated it for 1, 2, 3, 6s, and 1, 10, is actually twice what we originally had. So 1.26 doubled would be 2.52. Okay? So this is what is going on with scaling. And when I change the scales, it might be from Fahrenheit to Celsius, or vice versa. Or it might be di different currencies. Um, there's lots of different examples that can be thrown at you. So, simply adding or subtracting a certain number to the original data will modify the mean by that amount, but it won't change the standard deviation. If you multiply and divide by a certain number, uh, then it will affect the mean and the standard deviation. So, let's look at an algebraic approach for this. Let's say I had um, some original data, which I'm going to represent by B. I multiply each of those Bs by 3, and take away 6. And this is going to be my new values, my new set of values. So if I put the mean as, um, let's say, 5, and the standard deviation 
as uh, 1.5, then what's going to happen is that the new mean will be multiplied by 5, uh, sorry, multiplied by 3, um, the new mean will be the old mean multiplied by 3 and take away 6. So both affected, the multiplication and the subtraction. So we've got 15, take away 6 would be 9. The standard deviation will be affected by the 3 times, but it won't be affected by the minus 6. So it will just be 3 times 1.5, so 4.5. So that's how it can work in practice.